Pressmen are in position at Yucca Flats, Nevada, as troops arrive for the biggest atomic explosion ever set off in America. It's a tactical exercise to test the reactions of troops to atom bombs used in support of an attack. Below is ground zero. 3,000 feet above this spot, the airborne bomb will be exploded. Four miles away in slit trenches, the closest they've yet been, the men will see a blinding flash. After 45 seconds of unearthly silence, will come the sound of the blast and its shock. The remaining seconds are counted off. At four miles, it looks a small, almost disappointing burst. But in a moment, we'll go in close and see the swirling power of the bomb and hear the delayed roar of the explosion. we see the same explosion from a different angle, the flash reflected by the spectators. The ball of fire with a temperature of a million degrees is a hundred times as bright as the sun seen from the earth. Then once again, the sound and shock waves. Now the slow motion camera gives its record of the same bomb. The streamers you see are rocket trails fired almost simultaneously for measuring purposes. The power of the detonation bends the trails out of shape. Then again, utter silence before the roar of the atom bomb. orders the infantry to prepare to move into the blast area. They are unharmed by the searing light and the roaring blast of the bomb. As a close support weapon, it is proved practicable. Radioactivity is checked ahead of them as America moves closer to controlling this dread invention of almost inconceivably destructive power.